Let's talk Red Dead Racing. We're going to be doing a, a series here on racing. And what we're going to do in this series is we're going to show you uh, how you can move from a lower level racer to a higher uh, level racer and actually make podium. We're going to be able to do this by taking and showing you all of the experience that we've had of the last three years in Red Dead Redemption, racing well over 10,000 races. I'm going to show you the, not only the route that you need to take, but I'm going to give you some tips as to what you should do and what you shouldn't do and how to progress on up that ladder uh, as quickly as possible. And we're going to begin by uh, taking one race at a time and you'll be able to keep this video. You'll be able to play it over and over again and watch for some of the little subtle things that occur uh, in these races. Now, in each of these races, I may not finish first, but I'll be right up there. And uh, those that I finish first in, great. And those that I don't finish first in, hopefully I'm going to get a second or a third out of it. Uh, if I don't get a second or a third out of it, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Uh, but we're going to take and we're going to do the best that we can. And I'm going to show you all that I know. And I'm going to pass that information on to you so that you can get there quicker uh, than I did and with less trouble. Uh, one thing you always have to be careful of is what? What do we have to be careful of in Red Dead? Griefers. They're everywhere. They're in racing as well. So be careful of the griefers. Beyond that, let's get started. Another little something that you can do is when you're actually mounting up on your horse and the race is ready to begin, uh, pay attention to that person behind you or beside you if you're able to see them. And maybe you'll be able to determine exactly who that individual is based upon your study of the players uh, prior to the race beginning. I want to remind you of while you're racing, is if you use energy to strike somebody back, to kick them, to shove them, to punch them, to beat on them, you're using up precious energy, and eventually it's going to run out. Is it going to run out before that race ends? Let's hope not. Oh, open race, Blackwater. Oh, this is a great race, too. All right. I, I think I'm deciding that we're going to stay. <laughs> We're going to stay, but I think what I'll do is I'll get down and I'll change outfits. I'm going to change outfits so that I'm a little less noticeable. I'm going to put on my old standard skins. That's that's kind of noticeable. I could go to the, I could go to the stables and change horses, and um, I'm going to keep this horse because he's a pretty big horse and he's a very fast horse. Or well, maybe yet I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll I'll even go down to Diablo, Diablo. Uh, hey, he hasn't been out in a long time. Whoops. Maybe I don't want Diablo. Boy, he looks awful dirty. And dirty means lack of care. Lack of care means that he's not, uh, he doesn't have the, the package that, you know, keeps him healthy. I don't think. And that's a little trick I'll tell you about when we start our race series, about what you can do to trick these things out, trick these horses out, you know, trick yourself out and make you more capable of winning and getting onto that uh, podium a lot sooner. And over the years, uh, I've probably done uh, well over 10,000 races, and I know that I've won well over 3,000 of them. And um, I used to be able to tell you uh, every horse and every win that it had and every second place that it had, every third place that it had, I never bothered with anything that was outside of the podium. Uh, I could tell you his fastest time in any one of the races that we were in. Um, all of that stuff. And I could go back and I could look in my book, you know, to determine that. But, uh, you know, that's in the past right now. And right now what I'm doing is I'm looking forward to Cowboy underscore Strong and developing those three platforms. TikTok, Twitch, YouTube. All the same uh, name. Cowboy underscore Strong. Universal across the board. Now, I'll give you an example here if we don't get knocked out and we don't get knocked down. Uh, open race Blackwater. Uh, we're going to look to the right. We're going to go to the right. You want to look to the right the moment that you come into screen. You do not want to start hitting that A button until the, uh, it, the countdown reaches number one. If you do, your horse is going to rear up and it's going to cost you precious time. So we're going to, we're going to come in. We're going to look right. We're going to start mashing the A button when it when it says one second left. We're head up over the hill, and we're going to immediately go into a bottleneck. And that's where things can go uh, very, very wrong quickly. So if you can get through that bottleneck and make that turn to the left, uh, it's going to be pretty good. Now, because I won the race, I'm starting uh, the last. I'm starting in a very bad position. 
felt. I was able to get through that crowd. And I was able to get up here, and I got to go right down through this area here and bang a left, trip off that uh, that uh, that signal fire, run down through the plaza here in Blackwater, tripping off these signal fires, and moving down towards. And what you want to do is you want to stay on this side of the tree, catch this signal fire, turn right back around at that telephone pole, and head down uh, to the one of the main streets and trip the signal fire. Now watch this shortcut, if I can make it. Shortcut right through, trip the signal fire, shortcut right through, not going to go around, shortcut right through, trip these signal fires, and head on up the road. And at the moment, we're one full signal fire uh, ahead of somebody. And oh, that almost became disastrous when that guy cut right in front of me. Almost became disastrous. Well, here we are. There's a lot of people here. And I missed, yep, I caught my, oh, goodness, Lace. I almost missed that signal fire. I thought I missed it. And I turned right around to go get it. But apparently, I did trip it. So I'm back around, and I'm headed for the home. Trip this signal fire. Another shortcut right here, folks. You know, cut right through there. Trip that signal fire. And bingo. First place. And where's Lace? Oh, somebody finished. Dead finished second. Come on, Lace. There's Lace in third. And every race is a little bit different. And it depends on the group that you're racing with. Uh, as you see, I thought I cut that corner a little bit too sharp, and I wasn't going to trip that fire. And I did trip it. So instead of, I have, a, I have a certain point that I look at. There's a particular plant right there, and I make sure that I, that I go and turn my horse when I'm on the far side of that plant. Well, as it turned out, I turned on the near side of that plant. But it did trip the signal fire. So therefore, the next time I run this race, I'm going to make that turn on the near side of that particular plant that I have as my marker and see if that'll give me an extra step that, uh, that I can take and, and, and get towards the finish line faster by doing. So there you have it in that little old uh, Black Arabian, you know, one another race. And that's a fast, fast horse. Uh, he's not really, uh, he can't take a big beating, but he can take some but he is fast. There's no doubt about that. He is fast. In this particular race, what I wanted was I wanted my Turkoman. I wanted my Turkoman in this horse race because the Turkoman stands 16-2 uh, to 17 hands tall, and he's very durable, and he runs like the wind uh, in the, this particular race, which is snow-covered. Couldn't have it, so I don't know where we're going to be. But usually when I have my Turkoman, I can usually run away from the field. Uh, I've tried GTA Online when it first came out. Uh, I thought it was quite honestly disgusting. And uh, I played it for about two weeks, and I've never been back since. So I, I don't think that uh, GTA is in my future at all. You know, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm sorry for the, for the GTA and what have you, but the fact of the matter is, is I'm so content right here in Red Dead that this is where it's happening for me, and I don't play a lot of other games uh, because this is the game for me. I mean, it's like, uh, it's like I'm living it, you know? Now, we have a hell of a lot of players here today, and we have a hell of a lot of players here today because, uh, because they're, we have to do this for a challenge. And one of the things that you want to do is you want to try and stay down in the uh, well-worn, beaten-down path. And if you can do that, uh, you're going to do pretty well. But then again, everybody else is going to be here doing it as well. So we want to take and we want to ride. And at some point, I don't know that this horse is going to be able to uh, pull away. And somebody is killing on lace back there, you know, and that's the way the crowd sometimes goes you know if I can get a lead up here and this horse seems to be a little groggy we'll see what happens somebody is shooting me right now yep and they did shoot me right now there's uh, Cyro You know, and then you got to ask yourself, who in their right mind has ever seen 
And look, I wound up spawning in front of them. But who in their right mind has ever seen guns used in racing? How stupid is that? And this guy back here, he's going to wind up, he's going to wind up shooting me again. I'm sure, but it looks like this guy that I'm, uh, I'm racing with, uh, he turned around and killed somebody. Uh, I'm certainly not going to uh, be aggressive towards him. He's the one that took the heat off on the both of us. Uh, I'm going to race him clean. I like to race because it's a race. It's not a shooting contest. It's not a target, you know, uh, that we're shooting. But, like I say, this is a slow-ass horse in this particular race. Uh, if I had had my Kirkman, I, in my opinion, I wouldn't have had any problems with this race at all. I usually run out so far ahead of everybody uh, when I've got my Turkmen. And that's, th that's mainly because uh, I've done so many races uh, and I know the, the right animal for the right job. Alright, he tried to shoot me, so therefore I dumped him and I just turned right back into him. Uh, he only had to sh try to shoot me one time and that told me that things were changing. And uh, although I'm first, as you can see, there are other people that are shooting. And uh, I might try to take a little bit of tonic there real quick and see if it'll help me and get me through to the end. But this is such a drag-ass horse. And, you know, he come right back on and he shoot me. Uh, he shot me, so I was able to take care of him. He was able to take care of me. Um, still in second place. Who knows? There's a... There's a shooter up there, Lace and Pistols, go girl. You might be able to avoid uh, uh, this killer back here and, and win this race. All right, I was able to overshoot Lace. She was ahead of me. She should have been able to win this race had she uh, shot that target, but I shot right over the top of her head and uh, was able to hit the target and win the race with Lace coming in second. Second? Oh, Lace came in third? Oh, yes. Okay, Lace, Lace came in third. I see it now. I've got the screen up. Uh, so that's good. I mean, look, we, we podium. That's all you had to do. You just need to make podium. Top three. And uh, you've got the challenge complete. And even though I was killed twice, I was still able to you know, make it to the end and, and make podium. And it's... And uh, then what you have to do is you have to watch these idiots that are out there that think that uh, that uh, racing is a is a killing sport. It's, it's not. You know, yeah. Go to a showdown if you're interested in killing. Uh, go play the uh, uh, go play call to arms or or something like that. You know, uh, you can do a lot of killing in any of those games. You don't have to come into a horse race and and start killing. Clinton, good morning. Glad you made it here.